Welcome back. Yes, time for a little tech talk from light planes to wide body jets. We will soon be able to fly very highly detailed and accurate aircrafts in the next generation of Microsoft Flight Simulator, a legend in the game. Grant Hines now joins us to give us a bit of a wrap up of what this is all about, but also take us back through the annals of history because this one has an unbelievable history. Grant, um, first of all, how are you doing, buddy? I am super excited. How are you doing, Graham? How's I'm, everybody I'm in now, South Africa doing? I'm now super excited because you're super excited because I know that this is the kind of, this is a narrative you can sink your teeth into because this is one of the OGs. I was never one of those kind of flight simulator, simulator kind of guys, but I think for some people, this is like an obsession, man. And it's got history. Talk me through its humble beginnings and how much of a history we're tracking with a game like this. If I, can I even call so, it a game? Uh, well, yes, technically it is, right? It's it's probably the most commercial of simulator experiences that you get. A lot of people that have played simulators in the past, like, you know, driving simulators, kind of owe a lot to the flight simulator genre. Microsoft released the original flight simulator in 1982. That wow. was the first flight simulator. It was black and white. It looked terrible by any <laughs> comparison to today's I'm, standards. I'm but sure it was the in first time. It was, it was incredible. I'm sure it was mind-blowing. It, yeah, it was. And, and like, to, to be honest with you, it's one of those things that like it was ambitious, but especially on those on those computers, black and white on like what it was able to do. But the, the idea that they've even taken that to another route. I mean, look at this thing. Like who would have thought that this would have been a simulator in inverted commas, something that is considered realistic? Um, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. And obviously this, this went on, my, uh, Flight Simulator 1 to 5 went all the way up to 93. What you're seeing on screen right now is uh, Flight Simulator 2 and they added color to it. And then uh, with Flight Simulator 3 and 1988, they added a higher resolution. Remember all these steps to making, to pushing your computer as far as it can go to make the content as realistic as possible. And then with Flight Simulator 4, much better 3D. This, remember, moving through a 3D space was actually, look at those polygons, like, that, it had to be done, like, uh, you know, properly. This, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 5 came out in 1993, at the same year that Jurassic Park came out. So that was such a big deal. And this one in front of you right now, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator 95, was the one that I spent the most time with my dad playing. Oh. And we did this on a 486, a Pentium 486 oh, in wow. the lounge. That was, do you remember that? Does that trigger uh, but, some thoughts? Just hearing you say Pentium 486, <laughs> I can remember the excitement of my mates at that time who were into it and how much of a quantum leap forward. That was a good year for tech. That was a quantum leap forward for us. And this game kind of tells that story. Um, where do you see this going, my friend, with so much history and so much tech and, and kind of, the, you just think of the maths that's involved to get it this far. Where are we going to see this game go? So obviously we're going to be checking out the latest one that's, that's come out this year, or I mean on Xbox, but it came out like, like it's 2020, but it's just been released on massive consoles. Microsoft Flight Simulator is known for pushing what your machine can do, so like the limits of your computer, the technology behind it is fascinating. And we're going to get into what, how they've built this game because it's not the way that you think a normal really? game is built. We're going to be flying around Cape Town a little bit later in the cockpit. And uh, uh, what they're doing, not only from a technological standpoint, is super impressive, but also from the idea that you can make games serious. This is not just a, a game that you just pick up and play and you know shoot your yeah. friends with. This is a game that you can learn how to fly a plane. And what what where do we stop with this? Where, like where can you take simulators and learning? to a completely another level using the machine that you have at home. Sitting in front of your Xbox today as a child could make you a pilot yeah. in 15 well, years time. We, we've seen uh, racing drivers um, literally hone their skills while taking breaks off the track and not right. miss a beat. So I, I assume the same applies here. But I think there is also a lot of pressure on Microsoft to deliver something that the, the end user can really sink their teeth into. They don't want just a game. They want that, as you said. So, um, buddy, I'm really excited. It looks like, again, a quantum leap forward looking at the 2020 version of the flight simulator from Microsoft. So, buddy, stick around. We're going to get into that in just a moment. And while I've got your guy, 
guys' attention. Of course, we want to keep engaging with you guys on social media throughout the show, and we're getting really excited about flights. I love reliving these moments with my little boy, seeing how excited he gets to get on a plane and experience that flight. And I want to know from you guys, what was your first experience like flying on a plane? Let's see if Tubbs can reveal a little more. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back as we continue on a tech front. We are continuing our deep but hopefully very safe and controlled dive into the world of Microsoft Flight <laughs> Simulator with its amazing graphics and, of course, a populated world map. Grant joins us again now. Buddy, I have to ask, because you, you said something about the technology involved in building this game that would surprise us. So talk us through the technology of how this amazing piece of slash simulator slash game has come about. Okay, so Flight Simulator is obviously about planes, right? You want to get the best looking planes onto the map that you're flying in. But for the first time, I think in Microsoft's history, the focus has been on the map and the world. So there's two things Flight that they've Simulator done. The two big technologies is uh, a technology called Azure, which is Microsoft's uh, mapping technology, and another one called photogrammetry. And this is where this gets really interesting. So I want to show you a little bit of something. Wow. I am currently flying around yes, Cape Town because the entire map, and I'm, I'm talking about the entire, wait, this is too close. I, I, I know I'm, I'm getting serious. <laughs> the entire globe is mapped out inside uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we're wow. flying up towards Signal Hill right now. And how they do this to get the entire world, think about that, every square inch of our planet is inside Microsoft Flight Simulator. And how they do that is with satellite technology and live streaming the live images. You can fly, you can see the weather patterns here. I think you can actually, I, I can't change it now, but before you start flying, you can choose live weather patterns. I chose a sunny day and a cloudy day because I want to show you, but we can do live traffic control. So fly with real planes that are taking off from Cape Town International to Oro Tapa. We can do that. We can also see the entire landscape all the way to, through to Oro Tapa. And in some cities, you can see they've even done like three year in it. We're flying over Sea Point. This is where our old studios were. Yeah, man, I used to live spot. there. I used to, I can see yes. my old block of flats. Can you? I can see it. That is crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, all these people on dates on Signal Hill, <laughs> you know, getting their first kiss. Um, we hope. Wow. <laughs> so, so we're going to fly. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm stalling because I'm only flying in a Cessna. Obviously, there are tons of different planes. But another thing that they've done, because the planes are so realistic, let me get into the cockpit for you. We are actually inside the cockpit now. Wow. Oop, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I might crash. Don't you dare Screw. crash. Don't you I think do I might it. crash. He's about I... to prove that no, this is actually crash. a simulator. You can land okay, it anywhere. Yeah, my engine is off. Uh, you but, can put it off. But they use something called photogrammetry. And photogrammetry means they've taken photo. Okay, I'm, I don't know why my engine is off. I'm going to crash into sea point. This is not good. But every every just avoid, Why is my head, you know? avoid people. Avoid people. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, as we as we're flying over here, and you can see inside the cockpit, this cockpit is super realistic. And the way they do this is through photogrammetry. They've taken this is literally our old building at Expresso. I know, okay. look at it, man. <laughs> I did not intend to do this. I literally did not intend to do this. We're gonna okay, everybody that's coming on the parachutes. Okay, on and the jump prom. out now. That's oh, fine. No. It's just a scratch. It's just a scratch. Okay, bud. so here's right. here's the exciting thing. Look 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 how good the prom looks. Look how good the prom. They they only did this with AI and Azure. Hey, no one like that's how crazy this is. And the photogrammetry means they've taken photographs of objects like the cockpit and the different and parts of the world, and then using the photographs have rendered them in. So you get these really photorealistic worlds. They're cars driving past us in sea points. I know that this the speed trap here is 50 kilometers an hour. I don't yeah. know what the you local definitely broke it. You definitely have, <laughs> you have something on the way in the mail, and it's not good, man. So um, I mean, it just looks spectacular from your experience playing the game. How does this translate into a more enjoyable and immersive experience? What's it like playing the game with this level of tech behind it? Well, we'll go into a little bit of a deeper review uh, a little bit later. But the most exciting thing about the technology is that it brings you into the world. And when you play a flight simulator, it's one of those little things every time from flight simulator 95, like I told you, 
Um, what I did was I would fly to my friend's house. Um, sorry, there's a tape over my face. Thanks, sorry. thanks for rocking out. Um, wait, wait, I'm just... Let's go here. There, there would always be like, <laughs> there would always be like someone's house, and I'd always go to my friend's neighborhood and my friend's uh, neighborhood house and stuff, which was which was awesome and super cool. So um, yeah, I, I think what they've tried to do is to make this experience as immersive as possible by making it as realistic as possible and living in the world of being a simulator. So yes, this is great, and I can't wait to explore. In lockdown, we can't travel. But what no, a great way to travel. Oh, buddy. But let's completely. get into the review a little bit later. I want to, I'll get into the review and give you the nuts and bolts a little bit later. Buddy, but the I'm, technology is so impressive. I don't know if you've noticed on the screen there, but your push up count is way down. Hey, you haven't done one push up oh, yes. for the day. So you, Where's you, Ryle? Why is Ryle on. not telling no, me buddy. to do push ups? Um, I'm telling you, every time you crash, you're going to have to do 100 push ups. It looks yeah, I'm on amazing, it. I'm on my it. friend. I can now understand why you were so excited to delve into this, to do the deep dive. And yes, we are going to get to the 2020 version of Microsoft's Flight Simulator, probably unmatched in its class in just a moment as Grant takes us through the official game review. So stick around.